goodness, I should have took you guys on my adventure today. I am currently in Illinois, left at 7.30 this morning because I woke up, I knew I had a leaky tire, but it was a slow, slow leak. So I was like, I will make it, but I'm hauling heavy today. So I was like, I'm gonna put 70 PSI in my back tires and then all I heard was So I had to go over 30 minutes away to the tire shop get my truck tire patched up and then I hit the road about 840 and made it over to starts with a G in Illinois near Davenport Iowa probably like five minutes from Davenport Iowa I wasn't far at all so I got there well rewind I was at the tire shop and knew a trailer tire was looking a little rough so I asked my tire man hey you think that um this tire will make it to Iowa and back because I was pretty much at Iowa. He was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. But the heat pretty much just destroyed the tire. It's not, it says it's 92, but it's got to be like 105 outside. So the roads are miserably hot and one of my tires just, it was going to blow. So after I loaded the tractor up, which I will show you guys when I get home, which will probably be tomorrow because it's gonna be dark now when I get home. But I went and looked at the tractor, not as nice as I thought it was, but it's still pretty nice. I'll get her top, tip top shape, another hay tractor. So I get to the guy's place, take the tractor, load the tractor up, and I said, hey man, do you know of any tire shops around here that I could go to instead of sitting on the side of the road waiting for hours and then getting charged an absurd amount. So he said, yeah, right around the corner from my house, there's a farm and fleet. And I was like, oh, sweet. So I whipped in there and they said they had six tires. So I was like, I really only need, ooh, speed trap. I was like, I really only need one. So I got that changed out and then I started looking at the others. I was like, you got another? Just throw another one on there. So ended up being, well, there's a cop ahead. Ended up being like $410 for two tires. They didn't balance them or anything. Um, which I mean is way better than me sitting on the side of the road and waiting for hours and not getting home till tomorrow. So went ahead, got two tires changed and I should make it home. I hope we will see. But yeah, I did sell one of my tractors and I was gonna go get another 8,000 series, but this deal just popped up on Marketplace last night and I was like, I gotta go get it. So I guess I'm gonna keep on trucking, probably gonna have to make a few stops for fuel, taking a different route home. So don't really uh, know this way yet until I get on to 39 to head south on into Bloomington. So. Yeah, it's been an adventurous day, but I'm back on the road at 2.44. Should make it home by 9 o'clock. So, I guess I'm going to set you guys down for now. Once I get back around, might be tomorrow. Pick you guys up, show you my latest purchase. Exodus chapter 14, verse 14. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be right, still. It's the next day now, and about to reveal the tractor to you guys been doing a lot today so i'll show you in a minute but here she is a 7060 alice chalmers with the extra long axles dual hubs some thick front weights seven of them this thing is beautiful so this is what i traveled all the way for it's got three remotes 540 and a thousand pto and a power shift transmission i'll hop up on in here so on the way home somehow the seat just decided to come unbolted or something so i got to figure that out 
but other than that it's not a bad bad tractor i got the manuals with it and yeah like i said power shift transmission showing very little wear normally these pieces are wore out and that's how you know it's a high hour tractor you can't replace these but this thing ain't been replaced three remotes everything works showing at 2700 hours on a working tack i don't know if that is correct but i know it's not a 12,000 hour tractor so um yeah it's got some cool alice gauge here a boost gauge it doesn't work but i thought that was cool and then i'm not sure what this red light is radio works it's aftermarket and then the ac works as well in this thing even the power mirrors work and that's a shocker because normally those do not work but yeah i traveled 10 hours for this thing don't know how many miles it was but it was exhausting after getting all the way out there while waking up having a flat tire getting to the tire shop getting a patch going all the way out there realizing i was going to blow two tires on my way home or blowing them after i got loaded and then having to unload and get my tires changed and yeah then all the construction out in illinois is just crazy but yeah i guess i can show you guys this thing popping off this thing fires right up watch this Fires right up, sounds amazing, very little blow by. This thing checks out pretty doggone good. There is a oil cooler leak. Oh. Oil cooler leak right here where it bolts to the block that needs addressed. And then I think a couple injectors are probably leaking. But um, other than that, oh, and then there's one more leak on the rear here. This bottom plate right here, just gotta drain all the oil out of it and replace a gasket or put RTV on there and it'll be ready to go. So that's the purchase. Oh yeah, it does have a set of inner rear weights as well. But yeah, this was my purchase that I was just sitting on my couch and found on Facebook Marketplace. The guy's phone was blown up because it was half the price of what it should have been. So kind of glad i went all the way out there and got it because i really missed my old 7060 it was the exact same tractor power shift power shift transmission three remotes but the ac didn't work and it was just a lot rougher than this one um so kind of glad to have a 7060 power shift back in the collection i don't plan on getting rid of it as of right now but if someone shot me a pretty good offer then it might go to its new home but for now i'm gonna probably hook it to the hay mower and leave the 8050 on my hay baler and uh, go that route but also what i've been working on today is getting all my tratters lined up so got them all lined up here so i guess i'll take you guys on a journey here so right here is a d10 i bought about four years ago i've done nothing with it all it does is sit but it's kind of cool because i yeah it's got factory three point fires right up even after not running it for a couple of years because it just had not barn for a couple of years and i just drug it out the guy i bought it off of did all the work to it he did a lot of work to it. he showed me before pictures and it was rough so kind of glad that one's in the collection but if someone shot me a good offer on that one it'd be gone too my d17 diesel you guys have seen it it ain't going nowhere may 26 you guys have seen it it ain't going nowhere grandpa's 190 xt really good old tractor original one owner 200 it ain't going nowhere 70 30 it can be for sale for the right money hooked up to my nine foot crone mower haven't used it yet but yeah yeah I'm filming a YouTube video, Grandma. Huh? I'm filming a YouTube video, Grandma. Grandpa 7030. It ain't going nowhere. 220. Right money. It can leave. 8010. It's sold. So, bye-bye. And then my 8050 here, which 
ain't going nowhere either. It's got the three remotes, 540 and 1000, power shift transmission. What more could a guy ask for? AC blows ice cold because I put a whole new kit on there. But yeah, I'm gonna run this on the baler, this on the disc bind for now. And then I hope to find 8030 and run it on the baler and then run this on the disc bind. And then who knows what with this. But yeah, that is gonna be a wrap for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Another boring one, but it's a video. So it is what it is. Hopefully we get some rain so I can bail some more hay. So I guess, yeah, don't know what else to say. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And I'll catch you all next one. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.